Hello, welcome to my channel. I know this is a video that a lot of you guys have been waiting for, but I just need to preface by saying that I hope it makes sense. I am very ADD in this video and I go off on many tangents, but I hope that it's understandable. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments and I will hopefully be able to clarify what I said so that it makes sense. I'm just gonna get right into it. Hope that you guys enjoy this video and feel updated on my life. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my life update video. This video is a very, very long time coming. I'm actually really nervous to film it because it's gonna be super personal. I've teased and mentioned this video here and there in a lot of my vlogs and I just have a lot to explain, a lot to update you guys on now that the school year is over. Things are gonna be changing a lot in my life and obviously you guys are a huge part of my life so I wanna share it with you. My battery's flashing. Okay, we're back. Sorry for that little lighting change. Before I get into anything, I just wanna quickly apologize for this really harsh light. My camera is on my ring light right now because my tripod has been having so many issues. Disregard the lighting, I'll try to do whatever I can to color correct and fix this because it's just really harsh light. So, if you told me like a year ago everything that was going on in my life, I would have laughed, like rolled on the ground, laughed so hard at you, like, yeah, right. All jokes aside, this is honestly a little bit of a story time video. So this story begins back in November-ish. So, actually, just kidding, take that all away. This story actually begins over 10 years ago, almost 11 years ago. I started going to my school that I went to through ninth grade. Everyone at the school is like a family and it makes me wanna cry even thinking about it because it's just really sad. But unfortunately, from the time that I started going to this school when I was in kindergarten the school was having some financial struggles and from the time that I was five years old or however old you are when you're in kindergarten it has only become worse as the years have gone on hello it is voiceover Katie coming in to narrate Anyway, fast forward to November of 2019. Financially, the school was in huge trouble. So long story short, I'm not going into the details because that is not my place whatsoever. I'm not here to like expose my school or do anything like that. It's a great school and there's a lot of great people that go there. It's just a really sad situation. Obviously God's in control of all of it. Also on that note, the school that I went to was a private school and we all had a very strong faith. See, this is where I go off track and I kind of forget what I'm saying. Reeling it in. Back in November, actually more like October, there were many fundraiser investment type of things happening to quote unquote literally save the school because they were in so much financial trouble. The school, to put it plainly, did not get enough investments or donations to save the school. This again happened over a very very long period of time. So much that went into this. The school is being bought out by a, I'm like, this has gotta be the first time anything like this has ever happened. Anyway, the school is being bought out by another private school, but it is not a Christian school, it's a secular school. It's a great school. We're gonna call this private school that's buying out my school Oakwood, and we're gonna call my school Redwood. Don't know where those came from. But Oakwood is taking over Redwood completely, and Redwood is just dissolved. It's, once again, a very sad situation, and what's happening is some people are staying at Oakwood, and a lot of other people are going many other places in the area because so many parents, obviously, were sending their children to a private school to get a Christian education and once again Oakwood is a great school and they're getting a private education but it's not a Christian education so similarly to those people my parents really wanted me and Allie to have a Christian education and so did me and Allie a lot of our friends are going a lot of different places and with all that being said to go a little deeper my family lives pretty far away from Redwood not like the normal in the district five minute drive, you know what I'm saying? A little farther. So a lot of my really good friends from Redwood live much closer. Like here's Redwood, here's where I live, here's where all my friends live, pretty far of a drive. Anyway, a lot of these friends were going to, we're gonna call my new school Pine High School. We're going with the trees here. So Pine High School, way over here. Once again, to remind you, this is way too confusing, but I'm just having a lot of fun with these names. My house, Redwood, all my friends, Pine High School is over there. Pine High School is a private school and it has everything that my family wanted in a school except for the location. It was very far away, way too far of a drive, would not be comfortable driving that far every single day to get to school. Here's where it gets even more interesting. I toured or shadowed a lot of private schools that were closer to my house and I really did not like any of them. One of them, for example, we're gonna call this new school, this is ridiculous, Maple High School. Uh, funny little, Add in right here. A kid, when I was shadowing, threw a blueberry at me. No joke, literally, no, 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 didn't throw a blueberry at me. Spit a blueberry at me. 
they were at the lunch table. This was the freshman class at the time. And I was like, excuse me? When that happened, I was done. I was like, I ain't going to Maple High School. Because on top of that, a kid also flipped off. Please hold for my dog barking. Okay, flipped off a teacher. She was literally doing her job. The kid was sleeping in his class. And she was like, can I be excused? Because there were two shadows, me in the room, and then this other kid was shadowing Daniel. We'll call him that. So Daniel was literally sleeping in class and The teacher, we're gonna call her Miss Perez. So Miss Perez said, so glad you had a great time sleeping in my class, being sarcastic and the class kind of giggled. He walked out the door. I was walking behind him. So was this other shadow kid and the person I was shadowing. I hope that you're able to follow this. He walks out the door. We're gonna pretend these are my middle fingers. I would never actually do this because I'd be extremely disrespectful. I kid you not, he walks out the door. The door shuts, he goes like this, like that. With a shadow, I'm sorry. So those two things were pretty large turnoffs for me in the decision making process with which schools I wanted to go to. Okay, so in the midst of this, I just to be completely honest, had a lot of nights where I was just so upset and I just cried because I was like, my school is literally no longer my freshman class, which I'm just so close with everybody. It's such a great class. I and mean, we're all so excited to go through high school together. We literally would all be going to separate places. It would be no longer. I've come to terms with it and I'm okay. That's why I can jokingly talk about it. But for a really long time, it was a really, really sad situation. Like it was literally like somebody had died. We walked into school on the day that everyone found out that the school was gonna be pretty much gone or bought out completely. It was so, so, so sad. And everybody was just so, I don't even know how to explain it. It was a really difficult time for, I think everybody at the school, especially for our seniors and juniors. Seniors, they will not have their high school to come back to. It's just really sad because you look up to all those people, like going through kindergarten, first grade, second grade, I looked up to all of those people and wanted to be like the seniors. Like I was so excited to do the senior walk going through. And it was just very heartbreaking when we all found out and then this pandemic came and we did didn't even get to say our final goodbyes to anybody or to the school. So that chapter was closed of Redwood and the new chapter of Pine was sort of opened. We knew we wanted to go there and that was the right school. There were a lot of signs from God. I had been praying about it. I had a really great time when I shadowed there and everyone was very, very nice. And it seemed and still seems like a really good environment and the right place for me to go. But again, with the location, it was so, so, so far away. So obviously we had to either move or figure out some alternate situation situation. I don't know what that would have been. So moving was the option because <laughs> you can't drive that long to get to school every day. Just not practical whatsoever. So it was kind of a God thing, but there were these brand new homes that were being built in a new community. Pine High School. And my grandpa, who has been living alone, wanted to, or I guess it was always in the plan for him to move in with us at some point. But the house that we're in right now would not be able to hold six people. Granted, my brother is going to college, but still it would have been very chaotic and he wouldn't have had his own space and it just didn't make sense. We would have had to renovate this house or figure out something else. So it was kind of in the books for something like this to happen, but not to this scale. Anyway, another very, very, very long story short, I am moving. Um, a couple cities away to a brand new build, which is so, so exciting. I've been really excited to tell you guys about this because a lot of you have asked for a room tour, but I don't want to give you guys a room tour yet because I want to hold out until I actually move and have a brand new room. I'm going to be redecorating my room entirely. It's going to be a pretty big transition because I have lived in the same city all of my life, never gone to another school. So yeah, that's pretty much the premise of this life update. Going back to the high school thing, I'm going to be attending Pine High School next year. Obviously it's not called that, but hopefully they will let me vlog. <laughs> Um, I'm just kidding. I just know even through all of this, it's been a really hard time, but I know that God really does have his hand over all this. And I think it's going to be good, positive change because in life, things are never static, exactly the same. Like they have been for the last 15 years of my life. I've lived in the same place, gone to the same school, had a lot of the same friend group. So I think it's going to be really good for me to have these new opportunities. And I'm really excited that I get to document this all and share it with you guys. And I will have this to look back on one day because I think it's very, very rare that your school shuts down your freshman year, like your school literally think about that. It is a really wild situation that I don't think a lot of people go through. So I can add that to my list of things like my high school shut down and on top of it during a pandemic. So weird. Everything is so weird. Ah, anyway, like I said, I cannot wait to share this with you guys. Brand new city, brand new house, brand new school. The plan if everything goes as it should, which based on the past few months, who even knows what's going to happen. But hopefully I will move in September and be able to go to like on ground school in the fall and just take you guys along for the ride. It's all going to turn out for the best.
best. And I was thinking the other day, this is a really funny thought when my sister and I were kind of discussing this because we were really sad about our school and how we wouldn't get to see a lot of people again because of the coronavirus. I told her, I was like, what if you meet your husband at Pine High School, who you probably would have never met at Redwood? High school sweethearts, hello. Anyway, um, now that you guys are updated on my life, make sure you subscribe because you don't wanna miss out on what's coming next. Once again, I can't wait to share it with you all and I hope that you enjoyed this video and it was a little distraction from the wild craziness of the world right now. I love you guys and I hope you're staying safe and healthy and stay tuned for everything coming up in my life. Bye guys. Mwah.